Hello everyone, I am Astha of first semester, pursuing my computer science and engineering from Sri Venkateshwara College. In this video, I will tell you about what are solid waste and its classification on the basis of source and type. So let's get started. Firstly, it is very important to know what are solid waste. Solid waste are nothing but just the substances or materials that are discarded as they are no longer needed, such as kitchen refuse, papers, bottles, clothing, furniture, grass clippings, product packaging, etc. With the rise in urbanization and industrialization, the amount of waste are also increasing. So now we will see the classification of solid waste. Solid waste are classified on the basis of source and type. So source-based classification, in this we will study about municipal, industrial, institutional, agricultural, biomedical, residential, commercial and construction waste. So let's study about each one of them. First, municipal solid waste. Municipal solid waste is commonly known as trash or garbage. It includes organic waste such as paper, cardboard, food, yard trimmings and plastics and inorganic waste such as metals and glass. Municipal solid waste are generated by households, offices, hotels, shops, schools and other institutions. Next, industrial solid waste. Industrial solid waste are the waste materials generated by industries or industrial processes. It includes chemicals, trash, oil, dirt, etc. and many harmful gases also. These are dumped in seas, rivers or lands without adequate treatment and therefore it becomes a large source of environmental pollution. Next we will study about institutional solid waste. Institutional solid waste are the materials which are discarded from institutional enterprises such as social, charitable, educational and government services. It mainly includes papers, plastics, cardboards and glasses. Next, agricultural solid waste. These are mainly produced from the farming activities and it includes animal production waste, food and meat processing waste, crop production waste, on-farm medical waste, horticultural production waste, industrial agricultural waste and chemical waste. So next we will see about biomedical solid waste. Biomedical solid waste are also known as hospital waste. It is any kind of waste that contains infectious materials generated during the treatment of humans or animals. Biomedical waste may be solid or liquid. Examples are discarded blood, sharps, used bandages, discarded gloves, etc. It is mainly generated from hospitals, nursing homes, medical research laboratories. Next, residential solid waste. Residential solid waste means any and all rejected, abundant or discarded matter, including vegetable or animal food, floor sweepings, crockery, glass or metalware, having contained food, ashes, grass, hedge clippings or other garden refuse or rubbish. Next, we will see about construction solid waste. Construction solid waste is any solid waste that is generated from any construction activities which include improvement, preparatory, repair or alteration works. It mainly includes concrete, bricks, tiles, ceramics, wood, glass, plastic or metal waste, even paints, adhesives, etc. So now let's see the type-based classification of solid waste. 
it includes garbages ashes residues combustible and non combustible waste bulky waste street waste biodegradable and non biodegradable waste dead animals abandoned vehicles hazardous waste and sewage waste So let's start with garbage. Garbage is a waste material that is discarded by humans, usually due to lack of utility. Garbage contains rotting organic matter, which produces an obnoxious odor and attracts rats and other vermin towards it. So it is very important to dispose it carefully. Next, ashes and residues. These are the substances remaining from the burning of wood, coal, charcoal, and other combustible materials. When it is produced in large quantities, as in factories or industries, it is known as industrial waste. Ashes consist of the fine powdery residue, often mixed with small pieces of glass and metals. Next is combustible and non-combustible waste. This consists of waste generated from the hands, institutions commercial activities, etc., excluding food waste and other highly petrifiable material. Typically, while combustible material consists of paper, cardboard, textile, rubber, garden trimmings, etc., non-combustible waste consists of items such as glass, crockery, tin, and aluminium cans. Next, bulky waste. Household appliances such as refrigerators, wood, washing machines, crates, vehicles, etc. that cannot be accommodated in normal storage containers. They require the special collection mechanism. So now we will talk about street waste. Street waste means any street sweepings, dirt, contents of litter, leaves that rest on the public roads and public premises. Next are dead animals. Dead animals are those who die naturally or accidentally killed on the road. Dead animals are divided into two groups, small and large. Large animals are horses, cows, goats, sheep, pigs, etc. And small ones are dogs, cats, rabbit and rats. Next comes the biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Biodegradable waste is a type of waste that typically originates from plant or animal sources and may be degraded by other living organisms such as organic waste, paper, cotton, wood. And the waste that cannot be broken by any other living organisms are called non-biodegradable waste. Examples are tin, aluminium, plastic and glass bottles. Now comes the abandoned vehicles. So this category includes the automobiles, trucks and trailers that are abandoned on streets and other public places. A vehicle that has remained illegally on a public property for more than 24 hours are also included in abandoned vehicles. Next comes sewage waste. So sewage is a part of the wastewater that is contaminated with UV. Sewage refers to the wastewater from sources including domestic, municipal or industrial liquid waste products disposed of usually via a pipe or sewer system. Untreated sewage may contain water, nutrients, solid, pathogens, oils and greases and many other toxic chemicals. So, so now let's look on this table which tells us about the degeneration time of the degradable and non-degradable waste. So we'll take few examples. For example, in biodegradable waste, if we take organic waste, it takes about one week or two to degenerate. Paper takes about 10 to 30 days. Cotton cloth takes about two to five months. Woolen item takes about one year and wood take about 10 to 15 years. Now let's talk about some non-biodegradable waste like plastic bags. Plastic bags take one million time to degenerate and tin, aluminium and other metal items takes about 100 to 500 years. 
So, uh, if we talk about tie-based classification, we also have hazardous waste. Hazardous waste is a waste with properties that makes it dangerous or capable of having a harmful effect on human health or the environment. Hazardous waste is generated from many sources, ranging from industrial manufacturing process waste to batteries, and it comes in different forms such as solid liquids and gases. Types of waste that are commonly hazardous include cleaning solvents, spent uh, acids and bases, metal finishing waste, painting waste, sludges from air and water pollution, control units, and many other discarded materials. So here there is a pie chart which um, tells us about the hazardous waste. You can have a look. Like from agricultural, forestry, and fishing, we have 0.1% of hazardous waste. From mining, we have 0.9%. From manufacturing, we have 35.2%. From electricity, gas, steam, and air conditioning supply, we have 1.9%. Water supply, we have 1.9%. Construction, we have 3.9%, and so on. So with this, we come to the end of the video and what we all have covered in this video are what are solid waste. Solid waste are substances or materials that are discarded as they are no longer needed. And we have also seen the solid waste classification on the basis of type and source. And after seeing or uh, studying about solid waste and its classification, we come to a conclusion that for a clean and healthy environment, it is very important that we should start managing our solid waste to protect our human health and the environment. Because the impacts of improper waste disposal are far reaching and they can have long lasting effects on the health of our planet. Thank you.